Hello, my friends. Today we're going to study about the introduction of biology and its origin. Now, first of all, I would like to discuss what is biology. To understand biology, we should know the definition of biology, and that's all the day uh, available in many books, in your course books, and in many ways. So that is the study of life. But have you ever thought, if we break up the word? It means bio means life and logi is a discourse of anything, the study of or whatever it is. Let's talk about the timeline of biology and how it came into this world. It dates back to the era which is before Christ, but we'll start with the era of ancient Greece, where people used to drill holes in people's brain to understand its anatomy and physiology. They want to know that what is what resides inside the human body and how it functions. To understand that, they need to cut it off. The first dissection was done by Hippocrates, no doubt. He was the one in the 460 to 370 before Christ. He came in that era and he did that thing. But he also initiated the formal study of the biology as a subject in ancient Greece, where Kids used to learn biology from a pre-preliminary age. Aristotle came later, this is another philosopher, and these two were philosophers as well. Aristotle was well known in his work for science because of his genius mod in that era. He came in 384 to 322 before Christ and developed the field of biology. In 1736, Swedish scientist Carl Linnaeus used the term biology for the very first time, when nobody could even know that that would be the study which will include all the disciplines like anatomy, physiology, and blah blah blah. So these terms were included in biology in his book Bibliotheca Botanica in which he uses this word as the study of life. In 1766, this term was again used by another philosopher and scientist whose name was Michael Christoph, and he was a disciple of Christian Abner of Wolf, who was another scientist, but he couldn't do anything like him. Now, he again used this term in his own book, and that was Philosophy Naturalis Sign Physici Thomas Tree. It was not until 18th century when most of the scientists have already discovered many things in biology and the science of life, where it was officially used in modern terms by Gottfried Reinhold Trevirenus, who studied it in depth and he discovered many disciplines from the same course. Like he concluded that how it can be used in many different perspectives. Theory of microscope and its impact on biology and how it affected the whole organization of the field because it branched out more disciples from the biology because of the microscopy. When the organisms could not be seen by naked eye, Anton von Leeuwenhoek was a scientist who improved the microscope and developed it, which resulted in the discovery of the spermatozoa, bacteria, and fusoria, in short, protozoa. There are many kingdoms in biology, that namely Kingdom Animalia, Kingdom Plantae, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Protozoa, or you can also say that Kingdom Fungi. Now, we'll understand that what happened in 19th century. 19th century holds its own importance because there, that was really, it has a central importance of the cell when the people started discovering and presented their theories. The first theory about biology that dates back to 1838 when Schilden and Schwann, a German biologist or zoologist, presented their cell theory and it namely consists of three tenets. The first tenet says basic 
the cell is the basic unit of the organisms. The second tenet says individual cells have all the characteristics of life. And the third tenet says it's a de novo is structural, like it's a new thing. De novo is an Italian word which means a new thing, so it's not pre-existing. But that's contradictory to Rudolf Virchow, who was a Russian uh, scientist, and Robert Remak was his contemporary, and they, together in 1860, the year, uh, they say that it's not a de novo structure, means that it can arise from pre-existing cells. And they presented the examples as well because of the meiosis and mitosis in which the division and multiplication of cells takes place. Let's know about Islamic medieval scientists' discoveries done in biology. The main scientists are al Jais, al Dinawari, and al Razi, who is also known as Razis. First, we'll know about al Jais, who is the founder of the book uh, Farar and he belonged to Qatar and he's done a lot in his field. Now there is this Kitab al-Mar, which was a uh, work of al Dinawari. Now you can see al Razi, who gave the Hawi nine volumes and psychotherapy conclusions and a balanced diet chart for the people who doesn't have or they're stressed out and built a hospital in Baghdad. So this concludes the history of biology and its origin. This is just the starting. We'll present more videos on the continuing the, the same topic and the continuation will begin and it will persist till it ends. So all we gotta do is just like and subscribe our channel for more videos and follow up our channel for future projects because we're making all of them. 